Hello again. Remember us? We're the white blood cells. We help your body's immune system fight viral infections. Some of us alert your body when we detect foreign particles such as viruses. Others attack and ingest viruses. The rest of us produce antibodies that destroy viruses. Together, we recognize and defend your body against invaders. When you are infected by a virus, we fight it to make you healthy again. During this battle, you may have symptoms such as a fever, cough, and runny nose. These are signs that we are working hard to fight the virus. After an infection, we remember the virus that has attacked you before. So, if the virus were to infect you again, we can destroy it more quickly before you get very sick. Sometimes, we need extra training to win the fight against viruses. We can be trained to detect and destroy viruses that are new to your body. This is done by using vaccines. A vaccine is a substance that can be made using a weakened or killed version of the whole virus, parts of the virus, or the genetic material of the virus. An example of a vaccine is the COVID-19 mRNA vaccine. How does it work? The mRNA is part of the genetic material found in the virus causing COVID-19. When the vaccine is injected into your body, the mRNA enters the cells. Like a cookbook recipe, the mRNA gives your body instructions to produce the spike proteins of the virus. Some of us will recognize the spike proteins as invaders and produce antibodies that target the virus causing COVID-19. As we produce antibodies against the virus, you will experience some side effects. These include pain, redness, and swelling at the injection site. You may also experience chills or fever, headache, muscle ache, joint pain, and tiredness. After a few days, the mRNA that is no longer needed will be broken down in your body. This process helps us remember the spike proteins of the virus causing COVID-19. Hence, when the virus enters your body, you can recognize it more quickly and destroy it before you get sick. This reduces the risk of falling very sick, even if you are infected. However, even after you are vaccinated against COVID-19, there is still a small chance of getting infected. This is because everyone's immune system is different. So some people may not be as well protected as others. So, even after vaccination, you should still follow good hygiene practices, such as hand washing, and public health measures, such as safe distancing. Use the TraceTogether app or token, and wear a mask, even after vaccination. Wearing a mask that fits and filters well protects you and those around you. The mask should fit snugly over your nose, mouth, and chin. Everyone needs to work together to stop the spread of the virus causing COVID-19. We hope you'll do your part too! Hmm.